So about two years ago I uploaded a video called The History of Video Games Presents The Lost Arcade Bristol. This was a pop-up arcade event that appeared in an old shop near the centre of Bristol, with the make-believe story behind it that a load of old arcade machines had been discovered in this store and were being catalogued and collected by the History of Video Games team. In reality, the History of Video Games is actually a touring video game arcade and console event which over the past couple of years has been touring across the UK. You pre-book tickets to attend for a three hour slot and once you get there all the arcade machines are on free play. There's also, as previously mentioned, a selection of retro consoles to play on as well. So if you saw my video about the 2019 History of Video Games event, you'll know that I had a thoroughly enjoyable time at it and highly recommended it back then. So how does this new event compare two years later then? Well, let me just finish my grand video panorama of the room and then we'll talk about the good things and the couple of things which I didn't like quite as much as the previous event. Get with me. One of the immediate things you'll notice is that it's in a much bigger location this time. An old gutted out department store located in the bottom level of the Gallery Shopping Centre in Bristol. The actual arcade area is sectioned off at the back, but before you get to it, there's an area at the front with a cafe and also a load of bar top main arcade machines, which are available to play for free without actually having to pay for a ticket and attending the event. This is a very nice touch. There's also some video game related merch on sale as well as a selection of board games if that's the sort of thing that takes your fancy. As well as being able to actually buy board games, there's also the option to play them in the cafe area if you want to. Now one really really nice addition from the previous event is that this time they actually have leaned a bit more heavily into the whole history of video games thing and they've now got a load of glass fronted big display cabinets featuring pretty much every single retro console under the sun that you can think of. It's really quite impressive. I'm going to stop talking now and let you bathe in this retro wonderland of old gaming heaven.
So here we can see some of the retro consoles on display that people could actually play. Here's a look at some of the ones on the other side of the table, Daytona USA and Streets of Rage 2 there, good choices. OK, so let's have a talk about the actual arcade games themselves then. So first up, it was great to see that they had a Sega Rally cabinet. Unfortunately though, only one of the screens was working, so there was no opportunity for any multiplayer fun times with it. Also, and this is me just being really nitpicky here, for some reason the false feedback didn't work on the steering wheel. Now as great as it was to see Sega Rally here as a new addition to the Lost Arcade, this is where one of my first criticisms of the new event comes in compared to the 2019 version. Despite the much larger floor space available this time around, as far as the actual arcade cabinets themselves go, there were actually some fairly noticeable omissions this time around compared to the previous event. Just off the top of my head, a couple of cabinets that I noticed were MIA, with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4-player game, the Simpsons 4-player game, the Time Crisis cabinet they previously had, the Upright Power Drift and the Sit-Down Pole Position cabinet, the Virtua Fighter cabinet, and most egregious of all, there was no Street Fighter 2 arcade cabinet of any type whatsoever. Again, this is me just being a bit nitpicky here, but as far as I could see there weren't any 4-player games on offer at all. And as I was there with three other mates, it would have been great to have something like the Turtles Machine on offer. I guess we are talking old hardware though, and it's been two years since this pop-up event last appeared in Bristol, so maybe these machines are just broken or something and haven't been able to be replaced. As far as other new additions go, I'm pretty sure the Point Blank arcade machine is new, uh, as is the Thunderblade machine, and the Operation Thunderbolt cabinet. You gotta love those little plastic Uzis on the front. Staying in purely nitpicky territory here, I was also slightly disappointed that there wasn't a stronger Sega presence here. I would have really loved to have seen something like Shinobi, or Golden Axe, or even better, a sit-down or stand-up outrun cabinet, or an afterburner one, or, king of the arcade cabinets, a link-up version of Daytona USA. This isn't really something I can fault the event on though, these are just some of my own personal preferences. In comparison to the 2019 event, one other teeny tiny little criticism that I would level at the new location is that it felt a bit too bright compared to the previous one. Again, this is just a bit of a personal preference thing, but when I think retro arcade, I tend to think of dens of iniquity. Dark, smoky places, full of dodgy characters just waiting to relieve you of your pocket money. Now that I've got that little bit of moaning out of the way though, let me just say that these things did not in any way spoil my time here. It was still a really fantastic afternoon out, and I would thoroughly recommend anyone that lives in the Bristol area to give it a try. Anyway, that's enough chat from me for the time being. I'm going to shut my pie hole now, so we can have a look at and enjoy some of these games.
So there we go then, the History of Video Games 2021 Bristol. So despite my couple of little nitpicky niggles that I mentioned, I would still thoroughly recommend anyone that lives in the area who's a fan of retro games go to this event. It really is a lot of fun. And it's also good value for money as well. Also, I forgot to mention at the start, your ticket price also includes a free hot beverage. So, you know, bargain. History of Video Games team, if by any chance you happen to watch this, please, 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 please get an outrun machine for your next visit to Bristol. That will make me one incredibly happy camper. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up there. So as always, I've been Mr. Thunderwing. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure you like, share and subscribe. And I will catch you again sometime soon. Cheerio. Bye bye.